Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land. It's been a hot minute since we've been last on. But yeah, anyways, mine's gone up slightly. Part of that is from the Digestate and all that in the BGA being produced. Haven't sold any more yet. However, I'm going to include some clips of us and some wood chips. So as you can see, we sold over 2 million litres of wood chips, and that is because we purchased this plot of land in the last episode. However, I've gone and purchased plot for you. Excuse me, see there, but yeah, plot 43. And this was all woodland. And if we go over here, see, this has been cleared out. So if you go into build mode, you literally everything's been cleared. And that was from all of this. We did take some trees uh, from where was it? Over here. Only just a couple of trees over there. It was like three, four trees we got rid of. Maybe one or two that was like close to the field over there, my arcs around. But everything else was from that massive forest over there. Because there was a great massive forest here. And we cleared this forest over here. I think we left one, did we? I just gotta check a sec. So yeah, <clears throat> this one we cleared. I know we did clear this one as well. But yeah, these trees are on plot f f not 55, 35. And those ones are on 24 now. But look where we stand at the moment. We own and use almost all of the plots. Okay, apart from technically half of 56, because that's the shop area. But yeah, I think we're going to keep on expanding. And that's why we've got the plough out uh, two weeks since I've been last on. Gone and what remembered what we was on about last time and I watched that episode back. But it had everything noted down about the crop rotations and that. However, thinking about it, obviously this is all going to be hay because we need that for a silage and that and TMR. But I'm thinking we can get a bunch of sunflower oil. So I'm thinking all of this would be sunflower. We're in March. Yeah, because we can't do canola. And if we do sunflower, we miss the window. It doesn't quite cross. But yeah, I'm thinking this could be canola here. Maybe if we buy 54 on that and extend it that way. Uh, apologies, sir. But yeah, so what was it about? Oh, yeah. Plots 53, 54. Have tempted to expand across. Yeah, it does involve working on some bit unruly terrain where it goes up, levels out, and starts to curve down. We've got a powerful enough combine. Like your stones, we can flatten those out with landscaping. House 52, not too bad. Not as undulating. But saying that, there are some nice undulations here. And then obviously 51 goes up. Yeah, maybe if we do get 51, so you'd be like up to here where it just starts to go up because I think we're going to have issues with the planters and that but speaking of which 
we tap over to shop. So yeah, it may seem there. We'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, so we got the spray to do, well, some weeds to spray. But we've gone and borrowed. I know I think, I think we're at the point of this series, so if we have to use like, the odd equipment or two, it's not gonna be an issue. I only see it as a demo, so if we like this, we will buy it, but this is grand. More expensive than most of our equipment, in fairness. But what is this? This is John Deere DB120 planter. It is a 48 row. Girt bloody massive. It had 36 and a half meters long. Heard that right? A 36 and a half meter. And that is a planter. So that's what we're going to be using to plant the sunflowers and to get sunflower oil because we can plant sunflowers now in March but yeah this is going to be unruly heap massive there is some liquid fertilizer in there or not we'll keep that topped up I don't know I'll be careful the weight situation just where it's so long in that. Also, we did purchase another trailer. Obviously, we've got this one here for the quits, and the other one, which is the same one by Matt Trucker 921, can do obviously everything. However, I don't keep on swapping configurations and all that. So that's why we was able to get 2 million litres of wood chips. We just use that, cut down the forge with a tree devour and yeah the rest of this history so we're gonna park you here for now because we need to do some plowing so we got all of this to plow up we got all the 43 to plow up not 33 but we got 34 to plow up. Just double checking again. Yeah, so f we should we got two. I say 2.9 plots to plow up. Oh boy, that is a bit of an undertaking there. If I see so myself. So why wasn't it plowing the new fields? Technically, are these on 40, 34? That is, that is, that is, but not that. So let's get the devourer sec and get rid of these three trees here because they're in the way. Actually, why not just sell these, get a bit of extra income coming in? Well, like we actually need the money at the moment, we're always on 2 million quid here, but hey, every little helps, so we'll drive these up here. Not particularly fast off where they sell to or that, so... Just drag them across. There we go. How big is the small one? We turn on that is nine and a half meters long. So you know what? We will cut you there and cut you there. And then yeah, say about cut you in half there. Almost spawn actually. That is five grand for those. And we'll grab these ones. And drag them over. So 
So six grand for those, a little bit of extra income, and just get rid of some woods. The slumps we will devour on that, so get rid of those, but we need to get back to the caves and yeah, really start doing this plowing. But this is gonna be a big job. Here we are, that is the plan done, and yeah, shipping me, I thought I recorded the last segment, so basically what we did quickly was, we had 13,000 years of stones, because we rock picked all of that new land over there, picked it all in that, and I put it into the gold production, that is 13,000 litres of stone so that's going to be producing gold for us so we'll get at least one pallet of gold that's going to be 26 grand methane i'm not too worried about that at the moment but yeah so we've got the db120 out and this is a beaut takes a while to fully unfold hoses are good obviously this is a demonstration but obviously if this works out well for us and we like it then I think we will go ahead and buy it. Uh, yeah, I know it's expensive at, what, 350 grand? But it's twice the width of our other planter and cedar. Got a drawbar in there as well, see if I can help us with speeding this up. Connections are a bit mucky. That's the thing as well, a bit flexing. There's most of this field is right, but over there by the rocks now, there is an area 
I really was poor on that stump. So we're going to have to... Actually, if we go this way, I think that would be better for us. So, get that into position. I don't mind going a bit over to make sure it's always where it's saying perfectly straight. So, we've got sunflower selected, yes. Get it all lowered. Turn that baby on. Oh, I do love that noise. That is absolutely a beaut. And there we go, we are underway. So 12 miles an hour, 13. Because this is only meant to do 9 miles an hour. Let's see how fast we can get with this. Come on, 15. Come on, look how we get 16. But even then, 50 miles an hour, that is. Yeah, 40. I think 15 is going to be about the top end. Of what we're gonna hit. I just re really hope we don't miss anything with the bumps and lumps and all that. I just hear that going. Obviously, if you run out of fertilizer, I'm not too worried. But it's gonna be more of the seed in that. I think. Should we get a auger in that? Do we have one? I uh, don't think we do. No, we do not. So, go to an auger. I only got those ones. I haven't got any other ones enabled. So, I think actually, bear with me a sec whilst I quickly go and fetch some availability of some a variety of auger wagons. And we're back after doing that first run. A little bit sketchy there. I think it may be best if we get a worker on this. So that he said it goes in straight. Okay, fair so I didn't set up right, but here we've got our selection of walkers. Like these are good now. You know, for normal combines and that, but Aussie with us and our capacities and that. Not really a thing, but just having a little look, got like the seed runner here. That's decent. I think did we try one of these with the oh what was it? The greenhouses, but and again I think it's some of these like jam tigers here, like as part of the jam tiger pack. Like any of these would do, like really ten thousand litres. <laughs> Well, you know what, let's go with... What's the difference? I think it is in the wood, right? Oh, it's just a different kind of wood. So. Like, 3500 is nice, but... Ah, it's got a swivel axle and we need something, like, rigid, like one of these, so... I'm gonna gamble. Heck, okay, let's, let's give it a try. No, don't want worn out tires. So of course. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, I like that, so. Do you want a shovel or a rod? Where is that going? Ah, there on the side, so shovel. I think a shovel now. A tarp. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, go up with that cover. Ah, 
Nice aim for the tarp, so. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, that. So, I think we'll go with white on that. That's alright, that's more of an orange. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with that. And why are you struggling? Uh, yes, I'm not sure if it's this or what. Because we had this before, didn't we? Try to think. Uh, da, da, da. That could technically pull it. So yeah, we've got the 9X30T. I think really, sign for like, one of these. Do we gamble with that? That's a half a million. You know what? Heck it. Let's, let's, let's go for a gamble. It's all about gambles we are doing at the moment, so... Sure. Out shatters a bit. So yeah, we'll detach that. Get it sold. And then we'll bring the other John Deere over. See if that helps us out. So let's see how this goes. So we got 18,000 litres of seeds here. Way more than we actually need for this planting session. But, you know, no harm, no foul, and all that. Good stuff. So we'll pop this over here. We'll grab the other John Deere a sec. So yeah, we will, nope, mm, drop that, and drop that. Bought that over here because I thought we needed to clear some more trees, but no, didn't, so. Anywho, so we'll say, go to here. There we go. Actually, now we've got this. I thought it was going to be a lot more prone to swaying, but actually it seems to be fine, so... Now that's things, well, it's getting used to this, so... Back it up. But yeah, so we've got like 230 whatever grand for it, so... For the old one. Could have kept it, but... to go back lower drop that there we go so you're now doing a like good speed down the hill don't see how John Deere's going to hit us off you yeah that will clear by the time that's better. Solid 24 miles an hour. There we go. I'll be interested to see how it does on the return. Also, I want to make sure it's with the worker. It, it doesn't go over into the grass land. It should do. It should be a decent amount of space. Okay, it stops a few. <laughs> I mean, sort of wincing there a little bit. Also, obviously, we're going to be running low on herbicides. Is there any cheap tankers we've got? Got that one there. That does methane and water. That's diesel. There is, should be. Like one of these liquid ones here, a small liquid one somewhere. 
So yeah, I managed to find one that's part of the liquid support pack. So bought a bunch of these, but ain't gonna have time to wait around and fill them up. Six thousand liters is more than enough for us for now. Yeah, so we'll head back over and see pretty much how the new John Deere's getting along. Could be we just had an issue with the last one. Possible, but if this one plays up then it's gotta be something else. Right, looks like it's going in a straight line, so no complaints so far. What's it do? Do say it's reversing. Why are you reversing? Okay, that bit I don't get. Why was it re reversing? Is there something up here? Because before it was going up and down and around all fine. Like, see it glints in, that's with the liquid fertilizer in. What about if we do a head in that? around these and then we'll get to work on it so yeah that's what I think we'll do is get it smashed out oh, weigh in please just go straight there we go so yeah that's what I think we'll do is get it all finished off get it all done and then that's where I think we'll leave it for today And there we go, that is pretty much all that done. So that worked out quite well. This was a beauty to have around the farm. I think do we still need it? I was either planning on what was it? Canola in August. I did think about putting maize in, but 
I'll say we're running out of space. We're not. <laughs> it's just the theoretical work involving going into it. Mind me. But yeah, this still needs to roll in. Still got some seeds in there, some fer fertilizer. Yeah, that's sort of thing. Do we need anything? I'm not sure, but we have to wait and see on that. But I think all we have to do now is get out the roller, get this all rolled, and then that's this field done, and then it's just a case of herbiciding it. But yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, it needs rolled in, we know. But yeah, I am absolutely liking that. So, I think on that note, that is where we're going to leave it today. So, next time, we got some work to do. Thinking about, got a couple of plans for the farming that, including some chickens and that. Maybe at some point, new chickens coming in. In the episodes, but there will be more episodes of this. A few episodes. But now, I'm going to sort of balance between all three by Spring Court Farms and Numazand. Include where I can some double daily uploads in the morning and in the afternoon, so around 8, 9 a.m. and then around about 4, 5, 6 p.m. UK time. That's going to be the plan at least, whether or not that comes to fruition. Depends on my schedule now and my working out. If, if all of a sudden I've got working out coming in, then obviously the schedule will be reflected on that. But, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to come down below. If you're interested, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.